What up, everybody? Got some hardcore team deathmatch for you. And uh, I had one of you guys ask for hardcore team deathmatch. Actually, 3 cheese 6 uh, V8 killer. So, uh, yes, you did guess what I do for a living. I do work in a tattoo shop. Uh, I will get more in depth when I hit the uh, 25 subscribers and uh, actually go to show you my work and my setup. So, as soon as I hit that, I'll let you know. Ooh, drop shot, motherfucker. And, uh,. So, good guess, and uh, like I said before, I didn't get the search and destroy in. I am sorry about that. I'm still trying. i uh, probably work some more with camo tomorrow on that. Uh, we're going to get into a little bit of Tips Tuesday. I know I haven't done it in a little while, but I'm um, kind of bringing that up today. I have been running Overkill, which has actually been an incredible setup. I haven't ran Overkill uh, like all the time, except for when was the last time I ran and it was uh, Modern Warfare, the first one. I ran the M16 and the G36 all the time. Like, it didn't matter what I was doing. Those were my two favorite guns. You give me M16 far away, I'm picking your ass out. Give me the G36 up close, and I'm going to do what you're supposed to be done. Ooh, almost killed my teammate. Not good. Hardcore. Can't do that shit. Oh, my God. And I think we played a few games where our teammates were actually throwing EMP grenades from the start. Where they kept fucking hitting all of us. God. Oh, sons of bitches, man. So, uh, this is actually um, one of the maps I don't mind so much. Uh, I try to stick to one area. Usually you get to that bar, you get a lot of little bastards laying behind shit. Uh, same thing in here. So, the other shitty about, part about Hardcore is you don't get the, uh, the kill cam, so you can kind of figure out what people are doing. But, overall it works. As you can see, I'm running the uh, fucking camo. He almost ran into my bullets. Come on, man. Don't do that. And... <laughs> What I'm running, I'm running the SWAT. I don't have silence on right here, but I do run it when I have it. I hadn't had it unlocked in this video. I unlocked it already. Prestige, though, and now I don't have it unlocked again with my weapon. So, I'm running this, and then when I get up close for those tight areas where a lot of people will probably be, I run a submachine gun with a silencer on it as long as I have it. Uh, I was doing it with the PDW, and then I maxed out the PDW. I have that completely maxed out except for the camos. Which I still need to do, but I have a whole class set up just for the PDW. And then the MSMC is on its final prestige, so it's getting to the last level. Uh, and then I can work with that as well. Um, the SWAT, though, is just such a good weapon from a distance. It really kicks ass. It gives you such a precise... And in Hardcore, you're done. And another thing in Hardcore, you do not need to run toughness. It's... If you don't get the first shot, you're done anyway. So toughness is not going to help you in hardcore. Run something that will, you know, blind eye, things like that. So if they get their kill streaks, they're not going to be all over you. You're going to be the one being able to kick ass. Uh, UAVs help extremely in hardcore. You only need a few kills, and you're able to start figuring out where the teammates are. And a lot of people don't run Ghost in hardcore because they feel like UAVs are not constantly up, especially now that they're harder to get. Uh, UAVs. Now it's uh, like four to five kills to get. It depends on if you're running hardline, which I run on a few of my classes, especially when I'm trying to go for the higher kill streaks, things like that. Uh, I don't usually set my kill streaks too high. I run and gun way too much, and I die too much to even give a shit about higher kill streaks, especially in this game. I used to uh, Black Ops, or not, uh, eh, a little bit in Black Ops, but you give me the Modern Warfare, and I ran a lot higher kill streaks. So, and hardcore is just definitely a really good way to do this. As you can see, I got my dragon fire already. Uh, and you just got to find a good place to use it and hopefully be able to protect your own body. So, another good thing about hardcore is that if they see you, you can kind of move your area. Uh, it is somewhat easier to camp in this game. I don't care for it too much because if you're quick enough on the trigger, uh, you can run quick draw. Uh, usually, light laser sight for your hip fire accuracy, things like that, should give you really quick kills, and you won't have to run different things. You just usually you're gonna be spot on. You're gonna get a lot of kills, be able to call it a day. Uh, right here, I'm just trying to find a place to go that hopefully I won't die, and I can run my dragon fire. As you can see, they're on the other side of the map. My teammates spawned on this side, so I'm gonna run up here and hide. Uh, just a, just a heads up, it doesn't work out in my favor. <laughs> they push the spawn, and as you can see, bam, they're spawning right behind me. I can see them on my UAV. I'm going to try to protect my ass, but I, uh, I'm i not that great with the Dragonfire, as you can see. I don't use it that much, so 
I had it set up, just something different and fun to use. Gonna kind of it kicks ass in this game mode though, because usually they still do die faster, and the dragon fire is uh, hard to get kills with, honestly, in normal core. So using it in hardcore, it's actually pretty beast. So get this guy shooting me down, little some bitch, but it's all good. Definitely a fun thing to use. Uh, I actually have the. If you've seen the unboxing video, I have that the actual RC quad rotor that came with the care package edition, and which is funny because I just called in my care package. This game is actually wrapping up. I was glad to get my care package out really quickly uh, so I could come over here and snag it. And as you can see, biggest Christmas present than ever, I had a swarm care package, and you know they're pissed. Who gives a fucking swarm in a care package? And, and you can see, I'm gonna look up for you guys. Show if you haven't seen a swarm, which most likely you have, you can kind of see what it looks like. A thousand of those damn little hunter killer drones, little bastards flying everywhere. So I thought that was cool to kind of show you guys. Uh, somebody else ends up getting the game winning kill cam, and I only got in. Oh, almost almost killed me at the end. Uh, damn it, camo! Don't do that. So. See, not too bad of a game for hardcore. Me and Camo have definitely got into it lately. It's a lot more fun to actually, you know, kill people. So, <laughs> um, if you haven't seen my last video, some overflow domination, definitely check that out. And if you're new, subscribe. As soon as I hit 25 subscribers, I'm going to show you guys my little setup video and where I work. So, you stay classy, YouTube.